Would you mind telling us what all this is about? You'll find out, sir. Sir? Yeah. All right, Benson, thank you. Sir, uh, nephew break, sir? Very well. How nice to see you again, Doctor. It's Colonel Lethbridge Stewart. Uh, Brigadier, now, I've gone oh, up in the world. Of course, the Yetis, we met you in That's the... That's right, McCrimmon in the Underground. Must be four years ago now. That's that long, it only seems like a couple of weeks ago. I've just told you over and over again, Jamie, time is relative. You were still making a nonsense of it, Doctor, in your... What was it called? TARDIS? Yes, we're still travelling, yes. Yes, Miss Travers told me all about it. It's, um... Well, it's, to say the least, an unbelievable machine. Any more unbelievable than the Yetis? Hmm? No, true. I'm not quite so much of a sceptic as I was since that little escapade. But what's all this? And, and why all the cloak and dagger stuff oh. to bring us here? Yes, I'm sorry about that. My chaps have to be a bit melodramatic in their methods, but I'll explain. Look, do sit down. Oh, oh thank oh, you. Nice. Uh, Sergeant Waters. Yes, sir. Lay out some tea, will you? You'd uh, like some tea, wouldn't you, Doctor? Oh, thank you. And a patty cake biscuit. Thank you. <coughs> yes, well, since the Yeti do, I've been charge of an independent intelligence group that we call UNIT. That's United Nations Intelligence Task Force. Uh, you mean you're like a, a world secret police? Oh, not quite. We don't actually arrest people. We just investigate. Oh, well, what about us? I mean, you arrested us. Not really. You see, my men were keeping a watch on the International Electromatic Headquarters when you two showed up. I've been keeping a check on everyone going in that building. Your photographs were transmitted to this headquarters and I recognised you. Well, what's so odd about people going into the building? Oh, nothing odd about them going in. Trouble is, some of them haven't come out. 